Good morning, everyone. Today I wanted to do a little currently inked pen video. It's been a while since I've done one of those. Um, but first of all, this is what I did this morning. I've reorganized all of my journals uh, according to size instead of dates. I just like the way it looked on my shelf a little bit better. And I think I'm going to take off all of the side dates on the binding and just use like a numbering system and start at like double zero and work my way through the numbers. Um, I've also taken all of the seals off. I didn't like how it, it they sat on the shelf. It was a little bulky and who's gonna read my journals? Anyways, um, I have two inks that I'm going to compare. This is the next journal I have in the lineup. I'm currently using a Leutsch term. This is an A5 size. I still have a ways to go before I start my new journal. Um, I actually bought a, th a thing. I ordered a another Chic Sparrow. It's going to be a blue jay, a light blue jay folio for the A5 size journal. So that will be fun. Anyways, we'll start off with uh, two sailor pens and then we'll move on to my two pelican pens. Three modern pens and one vintage fountain pen. This is the sailor professional gear in the fine nib uh, with a black cartridge. And to be honest, this one I'm not that thrilled about. It's a little bit drier of a nib. Um, it's still a beautiful pen, but this one is super cool because it's a extra fine, but it's so juicy. I've used the black cartridge in this one as well. I wish I kind of still had it in there so that I could give like a better uh, comparison, but this particular nib is so juicy and... Um, yeah, I'm just shocked that it's as juicy as it is, and there's a little bit more flexibility in the nib as well. I wouldn't call either of these a flex nib, and you have to be really careful uh, when you do flex, put a little pressure on them, but this one definitely has a, a bit more movement. And then we have my two beautiful Pelicans. The tiny one is a Pelican 400 from the 1960s, and then the big one is one that you have seen many times so far. It's the M800 that was made this year, I believe. Um, here's just a quick comparison of the two nibs. They're both, they have that like pelican shape. They're very like stout nibs. Um, although you can see there has been some changes in the last couple of decades and there's fuzz those little tiny fuzzes you don't see until you're looking closely up at something, of course. My nibs are a little bit dirty with ink, but that's just, they are being used on a regular basis. So here is my vintage Pelican fountain pen, which feels a little square, like the nib, the tip of the nib is squared off more than the other Pelican. So it almost has this like italic kind of stub nib feel to it, but not quite. Um, it was listed as a fine nib. Um, I think I, I, this one I actually bought off of Peyton Street Pens, and it's a piston filler. There was actually a leak in the piston, which is very common with these older Pelicans, and Peyton Street Pens was able to repair it. There was just like a little crack they were able to fix, which I really appreciate. Uh, it has a nice, it's a nice juicy pen. Um, that is a diamine ink that happens to be fairly dry. Um, and then, of course, <laughs> I'm referring to this guy as Big Papa just because it's a, a rather large pen in comparison. This is the Pelican um, M800 with the extra fine nib, also juicy. These two diamine inks are really similar. Uh, one is a bit redder and than the other, as you can see, uh, but they're very similar. Um, this Pelican nib, real quick, is a bit stiffer than the vintage nib as well. So, anyways... The t these two inks, it's uh, Rustic Brown and Syrah, both by Diamine. These are both inks that I've never really cared for. I like the colors, but when I've put them in other pens, I've just not really enjoyed them. But they work really well in these Pelicans. I'm telling you, I am, like, I am a... I've been won over by the Pelican. Let's just put it that way. I Every ink I have put in these pens like works so well. I don't know what's up with that. Like, how how do they uh, host a variety of pens? I don't know. Or inks. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.